Okay, uh, just going to give a rundown on my uh, Hot Springs uh, SX hot tub uh, that I installed inside. I've always had full size hot tubs installed outside, and I must say, it's the bomb having it installed inside instead of outside. Uh, just uh, you can control the environment. I've got AC and heating control in this room. You can control the lights. There's no bugs, mosquitoes, no leaves, pollen, that kind of stuff messing up the hot tub. So I just love it. Now, uh, I couldn't get a full size model hot tub in here because this room that it's in, this was just a back porch. Actually, it was a, la a laundry room was the only thing I was using it for. Now I put in curtains to section off the laundry part uh, from the hot tub part. Uh, so it's just a painted uh, concrete floor. Uh, you see the LED lighting around there. It's daytime. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show some pictures at night to show what this all looks like uh, lit up or with the neon blue at night. Uh, but I'm starting out in the daytime so you, so I can show you everything clearly and you can see it. So anyhow, that's uh, I got a refrigerator installed over there. That I can, so I don't have to get in and out of the hot tub to make my drinks and, and I can keep snacks in there and that kind of stuff. Uh, big L, big screen L, L, LED TV. Um, I just used uh, shower curtains for my window coverings in here. Um, I don't think they look too bad. And I, I figure with the extra humidity in the air back here, probably more so than what's normal in the house, it might be best to use a... Uh, 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 mildew resistant type material just in case um, I haven't noticed any mildew or anything in this room I've, I've had it in a couple weeks and I've been using it almost every night so um, and then up there I've got uh, it's a fake fireplace I'll show that this evening when I when I show you it at night uh, it gives fake flames but it's also an electric heater too so that's how I'll control uh, the temperature of the air in the room in the winter uh, I've got permanently mounted uh, computer tray and regular uh, regular table tray to put uh, to put stuff in right there. That's my Amazon Echo. Uh, I've got voice control. Everything in my home is literally hooked up to uh, Smart Things Smart Hub, uh, and so having an Amazon Echo out here, I can still control everything. Uh, Alexa, play music from my Prime library. Shuffling music. So I can turn my lights on and off with a, using Alexa. Alexa, stop. Uh, I can control everything in my house. I can turn the lights on and off out here. I can turn the AC on and off uh, from here. I can control the heat on and off, control the temperature of it. Uh, you see over here on this, these table, these arms will swing out. They're swung out of the way right now so that the cover goes back in place. When I get in the hot tub, I can pull both the computer uh, tray and this regular tray in close to me from wherever I'm sitting at. Um, and as you can see, I've got little, these are just clipped on the side. So you can move them around the locations that you want. This is for my e-cig, got a cell phone holder here. I've got three remotes. I got a Harmony remote, a TV remote for out here, and the smaller remotes for the uh, the, the the fireplace heater. Uh, so, and all those just clip on the side. You can move them around anywhere you want. So, I've still got plenty of room up on here for a drink or whatever else I want. So, my dogs had to has has to still get in and out. This is their dog door. This is where their dog door was. So. Uh, they can still, I've made it accessible so they can still uh, go along the side of the hot tub and go in and out. You see I've got a microfiber type t towel right there hanging from a hook. Uh, that's so when I, uh, the microfiber towels uh, will dry your hands extremely good when you're in a hot tub. Don't matter how many times you use them, they still keep on drying your hands. Unlike regular towels that once you dry your hand once, it doesn't work anymore. Then microfiber towels will keep your hands dry. All you do is just reach over there, dry off your hand before you're going to use the computer or any of your electronic devices and it works great. Uh, towel rack there. Uh, these are thin microfiber towels too. Uh, big, bigger size microfiber towels. That's all I use out here. I don't use regular cotton towels anymore. Uh, they're just useless as far as I'm concerned. Another, uh, another towel hanging there. So whoever's sitting on this side, uh, 
This is a mount that you, I can slide a table tray in. I'll do that here in a, in a little bit when I get the cover off. Uh, don't have a whole lot in my refrigerator right now. But refrigerator, I keep an ice bucket up there. Uh, usually some iced tea, some rum there, and various Cokes and stuff in the door. Uh, so I don't have to get in and out of the hot tub. Uh, and as you can see, I've got it up high enough so it'll open even with the cover on. Uh, so I can I can I can access the refrigerator whether the cover's on or off, uh, and then come around here. My fake fireplace setting up on the shelf. This is a table that I've added on the normal cover that covers the filter. All I did was just put some spacers in there and add a cutting board table top. This is the table that go on this other side in that bracket that I was telling you about. So when the covers uh, when the covers are on, I just stick those two items on the shelves. And then uh, I normally get in from the other side of the, the, the hot tub because uh, my legs I'm six foot three and my legs are plenty long. But I put in a set of steps here for the short folks. Uh, so the short folks can come in here, climb up these steps, and as you can see, I got LED lighting around. This has got storage in it. Uh, you'll see there's a water hose there. I had to cut out a little bit of the section of the storage container because that's the drain hose. There's a valve right back, and I don't think you can see it. There's a valve you can reach down right there and and turn. And I've got my hose permanently run. Uh, so it goes right outside, so I don't have to hook up and unhook my hose to when I want, when I need the, to drain and refill the hot tub or drain it and work on something. Uh, this is a brand new hot tub, so I probably won't have to work on anything for a while. This is uh, where all the various wires and cables and stuff come in. There's a crap load of stuff because I got smart switches controlling everything, turning things on and off. Uh, I've got a Kydex material here, so if water splashes over the side of the hot tub, uh, no water is going to get on any of that electrical connection stuff. Uh, so that's a splash guard. All that is is a piece of Kydex material. I can take it out of the way if I've got to get in there and, uh, and work on anything. So it'll just lift up right up out of the way. But when you're in a hot tub, if you splash, if you splash any over the side, uh, then that'll, that'll uh, prevent the electronics from shorting out. There's my little window AC unit. I've got that uh, controlled uh, on my smart home, uh, so I can turn it on or off or set the temperature range. I thought maybe with a hot tub in here, I might, I might have to upgrade to a size larger window unit, but I left, this is the one I had in there with before I put the hot tub in, and it's controlling the temperature just fine, even with the hot tub cover off um, and heated up. So, looks like it's gonna do the job. This We've been through the hottest days of summer, so it's not gonna get any hotter, so if a, if it's working now, it'll, it'll be fine the rest of the year. So anyhow, now I'm gonna get set up on a tripod and uh, just show you how easy it is to get the cover on and off. Another thing, unlike the full-size hot tubs I've owned in the past, this smaller SX size, the, the cover's plenty light enough that I don't need to, any mechanism to get it off or help to get it off because it's so light and easy. So let me get set up on a tripod and I'll show you how easy that is. Okay, I'm going to show you how easy it is to take the cover off and get the tables set up. Lift that up, let a little bit of the water drain off. Walk around to this side. Like I said, this cover is so much lighter than the full size covers are, but it keeps it plenty warm. So I just pull that back. I've got a spot right back here behind the curtains that this goes, sets in place, and that's it for the cover. And then I come around here to my shelf, stick that tray in, nice solid surface. I don't usually even put this one in when I'm in here by myself. But if you got company, there's going to be other people sitting in the tub. Then you just simply slide this down in place, like so. That'll rotate around pretty much any orientation you want it to. I find the answer to the question I heard. Alexa, Alexa thinks I ask a question. Uh, so in any event, and you still got room to walk through here. If if you if you uh, if you had more room, 
you just slide this out of the way because the cover would go on. Uh, but I, then I don't have enough room to walk by here, so I normally will just take this off uh, to put the cover on. So in any event, that's it for how easy it is to get the cover on and off. I'll show you more with it at dark. Oh, no, never mind. I'll get in the hot tub and I'll show you how them trays over there work. Okay, I'm going to kind of demonstrate how these arms work. Uh, very easy. See how easy that swings out here? I can move this right out to where I want it. And about right in there is good because I rest my arm over here like this. And that's just perfect uh, height. Let me log in. Now so with my, with, with, with my arm rested up here, I can do it all right. Or there's an arm rest down here on this, on this tub. Uh, and I can do it from there all right too. So as you can see, I can, uh, I can use my computer. Remember, I've got the microfiber towel right here. So if your hands get wet, just reach over there and dry off your hands. And you're ready to go. Now this one right here, this adjusts too. If I'm using the computer, I usually have that about right here. Got my e-cig holder. I can easily reach all my remote controls, my cell phone, my glasses if I need it. My drink's nice and handy. So everything's all within hand's reach. Um, if you want to put some snacks up here or something of that nature, you got room to do that too. So. Uh, in any event, that's how easy it is. Uh, and when you're not using your computer, you can swing it around out of the way. And if you're worried about the computer getting splashed, just flip that up. And if a little bit of splash gets on there, uh, no big deal. And then you can reposition this arm out here further if you want. Uh, remember these things move all around so you can move these anywhere you want it. But in any event, just as any way you want it. About right in there is probably probably about how I'd use it if I'm not using my computer and then you just move it a slight little bit more if you're using your computer so in any event uh, got the tray table here uh, I can just go over in that seat uh, to access the refrigerator as you can see this this seat over here you've got a table this table that you can put in place so you get plenty of table space here so, in any event, I think that'll do it for now. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me. I'm quite a ways away. Uh, but when I eat, I don't know if you can see this. This is butterfly colossal shrimp stuffed with a crab meat and cream cheese mixture. I'm getting ready to eat that. But uh, I usually sit over here because I've got two different tabletop surfaces I can use. Uh, plus, I can mix my drinks or whatever from the refrigerator. A little bit tight squeeze getting the door open but as you can see I can reach everything in the refrigerator just fine I use a soda stream to make my own soda so that's what these are in there, stir it up. I usually just lick the spoon like that, rinse it in the hot tub. And then I got a ice bucket up here.
And it's as easy as that. Don't have to get in and out of the hot tub or anything. And then you close that back up. And then I can, uh, I can't wait to cut into this. Mm-mm-mm. That's got to be so good. I probably should get a close-up of that. That's just so damn good. You can still see the TV. I can use a Alexa to change to the TV to whatever I wanted or anything. So when I'm eating, this is where I sit. When I'm normally just watching TV or want to get in the computer, I sit over there. Hardly ever sit over here. But this has got a good back massage, moto back massage over there. So every once in a while I'll get on there if I got a sore back. So in any event, I'm loving this new in indoor in tub, uh, hot tub. I'm going to do one more shot. Uh, you see, I turned on my fake fireplace. Still not dark in here. I got the light on back there uh, and everything else. But uh, I'll do one more shot at night when it's completely dark uh, with just the fireplace and accent lights. And that'll wrap it up. Talk to you later. Okay, I want to close out with a night shot where it's completely dark. Uh, after all, this is 90% uh, of the time I spend out here is, is after it's dark. Uh, see, I have the, the TV and the fi fake fireplace going. That fake fireplace is really good. I mean, that fire almost looks real. It really does. And keep in mind that serves as a regular heater too. Right now it's just a fake fireplace because it's summer. I don't need the heater. But it looks real. And uh, this is a normal lighting. Get a little bit of... I have purple accent I, uh, highlights in the kitchen. So that shows in a little bit. But just you don't need any other lights on in this room except for the the blue LED highlighting because as you can see as I walk through here everything's completely lit up there's even if you're very drunk there's no way you can miss them steps oh and by the way earlier when I was talking about things uh, See that area right down in there? There's a connection for the LEDs that you can disconnect that and that way you can remove the steps because right there on this side is the control panel. So all the pumps, the control panel, everything else, if you have to replace the ozone generator or anything else, it's all right there. Uh, and we can replace all that by simply disconnecting that connector down there and then slide moving the steps out of the way and then I can take that panel off and get access to it. Now as you can see, I got the, the laundry area closed off. So all you see now is just the hot tub area. Zoom in on the water there a little bit. And something else I forgot to mention earlier, I'm, I'm going to turn on the lights. Uh, Alexa, turn on laundry lights. Okay. Now, Alexa kindly turned on laundry lights for me. Okay. Something I forgot to mention is I have well water. And it's extremely hard water. Uh, so I put in a water softener here. And there, there's a hose that runs along there. Down to here. And I, I just slide that off. And I can stick it right down on there. And it kind of locks in to that little groove on the massager. And then I can fill up the hot tub from that hose. And then when I'm done,
I just slide that back on there and that's all controlled from over here because I have really hard uh, well water I needed a water softener 75% of my fill is from that water softener so that's from this connection here uh, I need about one quarter of the fill of my hot tub from regular well water which is from that connector there so it's a quick quick connect fitting that I can hook up from there to there so that way I can hook up to either source straight well water which is really hard or the water softener which softens the water and that way I can fill up my hot tub so that I maintain the right hardness level of the water and by the way that's that's a really neat um, do automatic dog water that's hooked up to the, them same water lines uh, that my dogs always have fresh water it automatically fills up never have to worry about filling the water bowl so in conclusion that's about it this this is what it looks like look Alexa turn off laundry light okay, okay. so this is what it looks like without any additional lights just the LED lighting around the hot tub and by the way you see a distinct ring all this blue LED lighting that's the only thing that's fake in with the real life eyeball you don't see distinct rings all you see is a is a gradual change of color from from light blue to dark blue or whatever else you don't see the distinct ring that you see on the camera and by the way normally I like oh that was Netflix that we were watching it's getting ready to change shows but I, I can change that with my voice Alexa turn on and watch TV okay so if I wanted to switch that over to watch some direct TV I can give a voice command takes takes a second for a switch over and now we're on direct TV uh, the reason you don't see any any entertainment equipment is because I have a little wireless right there little wireless transmitter that transmits my HDMI from my main living room entertainment system into here so I don't have to have any entertainment equipment because with the Harmony remote which sits right there see the light blinking that's that's a remote for the Harmony I can control my main entertainment system from here uh, so I don't need any entertainment equipment in here so anyhow I think that pretty much sums it up but I'm just very much happy with this indoor hot tub versus the outdoor hot tub look at that fake fireplace doesn't that look good so anyhow I guess that'll conclude my my review of the indoor installation of the hot springs SX hot tub